To create good films, you need the best video editing software that is easy to use and powerful. The software you choose should make it easy for you to blend images and sounds in a way that connects the target audience with the film they are watching. In this video, I will show you the 5 best video editing software for both beginners and advanced professionals. I'm a professional filmmaker or video editor with over 16 years of experience, so I've tried and tested many video editing software over the years. I'll be brutally honest that most blogs ranking high mention terrible software. The top video editing software in 2022. The best video editing software is DaVinci Resolve. It has the best pro color tools in the world, the best user interface, and the most features and is an all-in-one solution for professionals and beginners. DaVinci also has a comprehensive free version if you're on a tight budget. It's always getting upgraded and releasing new revolutionary features. Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro carries the day as the best video editing software for beginners, intermediates, and professionals. The software flaunts a non-linear editing interface, a vast range of tools and capabilities that will easily help you make any type of film. Premiere Pro is a great all-rounder that has some of the most versatile amounts of tools or effects. Pretty much most professional video editors I know use Premiere Pro as their main video editing software. Complete review of Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro features some professional easy-to-use tools such as Lumetric Color, Blurs, Transitions, Sound Mixers, Multi-Camera Switcher, Automatic Audio Sync, Adobe Fonts compatibility, and much more. The professional video editing software boasts a wide range of tools for cinematic color correcting and grading, which beats much software on the market. Apart from DaVinci Resolve, watch more about DaVinci Resolve below Premiere. Easy to use user interface, workspaces. Despite its advanced capabilities, this software is amazingly easy to use due to the well-organized application window that uses a series of tabs called workspaces. Each part offers an exclusive layout to meet your needs. Panels. The workspaces are presented in quadrants known as panels. One panel worth mentioning is the project panel that lets you import and organize all your media, whether it's titles, graphics, or videos. License. Each license gives you two computer uses. For example, if you have a MacBook Pro and an iMac desktop computer, you can use a single subscription for both. Adobe Cloud, syncing across computers. Because you can use two computers on one license with Adobe, your projects and data are automatically synced between both computers. This is a lifesaver so you can have all your projects and favorite settings synced between devices. Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve User Interface DaVinci Resolve has a great user interface, one of the best UI for color grading by far. But for video editing, it's not the easiest out of all of them and will take some getting used to, especially if you are trying to convert from Premiere Pro. But everything is laid out nicely with plenty of spacing. The best coloring software. One of the main features of DaVinci Resolve is its color correcting and grading tools used by most TV shows and movies in recent years to color their shows. All-in-one editing software, DaVinci Resolve stemmed mostly from color grading. Over the years, an insane amount of development has been pumped into it, and it now features an incredible amount of tools for video editing. Effects Library It's got a lot of templates and presets which are actually great. Usually, templates are pretty lame in video editing so this makes a difference. Free version. The free version is perfect for most people. Usually, free versions of software, in general, are quite limited in terms of flexibility and use cases. But Blackmagic Design has really thought about the user here. Avid Media Composer. Avid Media Composer is one of the most popular commercial video editing software programs on the market today. A tool used for innumerable commercials and Hollywood blockbusters. The brand claims about 95% of TV shows and movies were edited using this video editing software. File Format Support You can quickly access and work on multiple file-based formats from your favorite camera brand. This is including full support of all the top cinema cameras on the market. Workspaces Avid is on par with Premiere Pro in terms of workspaces. It boasts an efficient workflow for bins, folders, and workspaces. This is really important for professional video editing. Avid Tidler Plug Distributed Processing and Rendering This software is leading in terms of distributed processing. Because Avid is a favorite for large movies and TV shows, Rendering could take a long time, especially a full-length feature film with an insane amount of effects and layers, control surfaces. As well as DaVinci Resolve, Avid has its own control surfaces such as the Avid Zone, Avid Dock, and the Artist Mix. 
Final Cut Pro X. Final Cut Pro X is a video editor for people who want to enjoy an easy to use UI while working on video. It's recommended for casual or professional use such as videographers and content creators, but I wouldn't recommend it for movie editing. Complete review of Final Cut Pro X. FCPX has many ups and downs in its software, but it's definitely a favorite for most semi-professionals and intermediates. It has a magnetic timeline feature that lets you move and trim your clips without affecting the entire footage. You can even color code them for efficient and easy identification. Unusual timeline mechanics. Final Cut Pro X upgraded heavily from FC. Most professionals hated the upgrade, but I can see why they did it. I believe Apple wanted to cater more for beginners too, so they made the timeline similar to iMovie. Great external plugins, because FCPX is built on macOS, this has made it super easy for software developers to develop third-party plugins that integrate them. Apple has made it really easy and is fully supportive of developers using the API to integrate plugins into the video editing software. This is brilliant because it opens up doors for the software to expand. Wondershare Filmora Complete review of Filmora. The software has constant updates to ensure that you get the most advanced features in the industry. It offers an action cam mode that suggests the most useful tool for the genre you are editing to make your work easier. User Interface The user interface is one of the easiest to learn that I have experienced. I believe Filmora is best for beginners if they are starting out video editing. It's got a great layout and is very clear on how to do things including a bunch of templates and special effects, license and purchase. Their pricing structure is a bit complicated and unusual. With Filmora, Windows licenses can only be used on Windows computers and Mac licenses can only be used on Mac computers. If you purchase a license, you will have it for a lifetime including updates to that version. But if they release a whole new version of Filmora, you will need to purchase that separately. Even though you need a separate license, the Windows versions are more expensive. Templates and Effects This video editing software probably features the widest range of templates in this list for titles, transitions, special effects, and more. This helps beginners get a step forward in creating a professional-looking video without needing to know how to create the effects themselves. So what is the best video editing software? Any of the film editing software in this review video can get you into the video creation world without a hassle. They are the perfect brands that allow you to upload the final content to different platforms, render all popular file types, and keep using them for years to come. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.